Hi friends, today I'm going to review this product. This came in a set of a acrylic brush, a dampen dish, four colors which we are going to swatch recently and a monomer. This total set cost me for 3600. So if you are interested, first let us see how it works. But still, if you are interested, I will leave their link in the description. To start with, we are going to first swatch these colors. Before that, let me read a little. Uh, this is Glamorous Professional Nail System Liquid Monomer. Liquid Monomer, Liquid uh, A, I don't know. This is 120 ml and made in USA. This contains ethyl methacrylate and all the other ingredients. So this is not harmful and this one is a color where it's written three you know it's a handwritten one and at the back it's written professional use only contains ingredients are given and it is said that this is an award winning a uh, polymer salon series in specially formulated to create long lasting durable acrylic nails okay so this one is also the same this and this these are all this comes in how much uh, 23 grams these are 23 grams each so let's swatch the colors first and they have sent this this brush but if I find any difficulty then I will use my go to brush this is Kolinsky 12 and I will shift to this brush this uh, the link of this brush also I will give you in the description the packaging is very good so that no spillage is there so we have to open it then only we can use it so let's open the all the containers and see then This is peach. This is clear. This is white. And this is a sheer pink beautiful color so these are the colors we are going to work on so today I'll be using this color this also we need to encapsulate and this color I have already prepped my nails now to begin with I will take the white acrylic color take it and then place it on your nails and then start working by patting motion don't drag and in between wipe your brush this is very important because if your brush gets clogged with acrylic you won't be able to work with that brush for that particular moment again take the liquid take the powder and place it where you want to place and apply the pro I mean product and then after patting it you give it a light pull so that that the uh, other acrylic gets merged to the previous acrylic now this acrylic to I mean the liquid to powder ratio for us it is a practice we, we have practiced so much that we know how much powder is required for how much liquid in the brush so see again all the beads which I am taking are I am sorry when uh, the beads which we are taking and placing sorry we not we it's I uh, which I am taking and I am placing it on the nail the product is not moving it's waiting for my command 
so that uh, signifies that i am taking the proper ratio of liquid to powder okay and blend the upper portion also and clear any product that is uh, if by any chance got over the skin you clear it immediately otherwise it will become uh, means it will maybe some for some client they may get some allergy from this so see i am going with patting motion first i am applying the product see i am patting and patting with the belly of my brush and then i will i will swipe swipe that then i will swipe to make it a even application now in acrylic this application is very important try to do your application very neatly so that when you are coming back for to file your nails you don't have to put so much pressure or take so much pressure to give it a beautiful shape i mean a proper shape so i always keep in mind to apply the my acrylic in a proper way so that i have less filing very less filing because acrylic is as as it is it is a hard product and filing with uh, anything whatever you are filing with with a e file or a hand file it becomes a pain so it's better that you do your application in a proper way now here i am applying the white powder to all my nail tips because with the peach powder i'm going to do an ombre now see the placement i just change the position of my brush and it became so easy for me to apply the acrylic and always remember to clean your brush in between otherwise as i told you it will get get clogged and you have to switch over to another brush and always remember to blend the uppermost part of your color with the nail bed while doing ombre so that the other color when i'm going to place it over that over there i mean on the top of the portion where you blended it with the natural nail from that portion then the ombre will give a beautiful blend you will see in a minute that how beautifully it blends now the application of the white powder is now over see after this nail i will show you the thickness of the nail see see the thickness of the nail it is very thin apply your product in thin layers now i'm taking the peach placing it on over the white patting it and then i will be blending it see how neat the ombre came now again i am patting the product towards the cuticle and with the belly of my brush now this way i will do all the other nails that is quite repetitive but i think you enjoy seeing the application of acrylic so i am not uh, when streaming it down you see this and while you see the application let me say say something about the product the liquid and the powder both are not fast setting powder or liquid it is really very smooth to work with the liquid doesn't have so much pungent smell the smell is okay and the powder is also applying in a cream consistency means it is very blendable both the powder and the liquid are really very good see see the thickness of the i mean you saw the thickness 
of the nail. Now again back to the product. I am really enjoying working with this product. It is very easy to work with and I think it is very beginners friendly. So if you want to buy this, uh, I mean the acrylic full kit, then I will provide you the link of the Instagram store from where I bought this. It's really very good. And talking about the brush, the brush is also performing very well. And always if you go on cleaning the brush and after applying the product, if you drain out the liquid from the brush, then the brush really works better when the work uh, means in comparison with the brush when it is wet. So now you enjoy the application. I will come back once I we are going to I mean I am going to apply the clear acrylic powder. Now I am taking the clear acrylic powder and will take it in a little liquid consistency and will place it just over the ombre so that when we are filing the nail, I mean finish filing, that time the ombre which we made it so well, it doesn't get filed off and together with that we build the apex with the clear acrylic powder so that the nail gets strength. I was enjoying the application of the acrylic and the full system also and the powder is really very good. The liquid is also very good together with the brush and uh, in a summary I can say the products from Grammarless Nail product are really very much user friendly. So you can go for it. It's not that you have to buy the whole kit you can buy uh, in single pieces also means the monomer or one acrylic either the acrylic or the monomer or the uh, brush in this way and i think so many other products are also there so you can check their page i will definitely provide the link of their page in my description now my friends i have started another channel on youtube that is completely on makeup and skincare for matured women like for me i am 47 years old so my skin is little mature i am heading towards more matured skin 
it is not that that i want to look younger with makeup but i want to age gracefully now that description of the sorry the link will be provided in the description if you are interested you can visit my profile my another channel now my application is complete i will come back after finish filing so now i have already filed and buffed my nails now with some alcohol i will clean the dust and will go straight to the design of the nails now i am taking this color and with a thin brush i am drawing a deep v i mean deep french now i am filling it after filling it i will go to another uh, finger i mean i am doing this particular design on the thumb the index and the pinky finger so i will do, draw the drip my god tongue twister i will draw the deep french on these three nails and then will cure it for 60 seconds and will give another coat means for two coats now i'm taking this matte top coat from shields and will apply it on all the five nails and will cure it for again another 60 seconds in led and 2 minutes in uv if you have a uv lamp for that i'm giving you the timing now i'm taking another color and with that nail art brush i will border line the v that i have drawn previously now see it's becoming more prominent this design is very easy you can do it with any colors it is not that you have to follow this colors only even i got inspired i mean this design which i am doing even i got inspired from a youtuber and uh, then i created this look from with other colors she did it with other colors and i am doing it with other colors and then now on the wet layer before curing i am applying the glitter to give a sugar effect i will do the same for the index finger and for the pinky also though you can do this design with any color of your choice but still all the links of the products will be given in the description after putting the glitter on the nails i will cure it for 60 seconds again and then will dust off the excess glitter now since i have given it a matte look i have taken these two colors which dries without any sticky layer so these two colors are brought from germany and from a store in germany so i can't provide you the link but you can use any color of your choice here i am painting some flowers and flash curing it in between now if you use any other gel polishes for this flowers then top coat the flowers with a very thin brush with no wipe no wipe top coat i mean shiny top coat i wanted to give the contrast of matte and shine in this look
now i want to apply some water decals of some butterflies so i am cutting the those butterflies which i want and will place it on a stamper you will see now now placing it on a stamper i will damp it with some water and then after a few seconds this back paper will come off and i will place it on the nail in the same way i will do the other one also and again after placing it on the nail i will now add some matte top coat to seal the butterflies and will cure it for 60 seconds now we'll add some blinks so i am going to take a bling gel and this the smaller one which you saw is available in amazon the bling gel is also available in amazon and it is also available in uh, with the instagram sellers so i will uh, give the uh, for the bling gel i will give the uh, link of the instagram seller and from where i got this uh, big bling box that also i will uh, add in the description so i'm just placing the uh, i'm in the blings with the circular object and then will flash cure it oh i am applying another bling which after applying it was looking very odd so i removed um, and now i will give it a flash cure i just got out of the frame and in the same way i will apply the blings on the index finger and on the pinky finger now i will take some cuticle oil it is from madam glam elixir and will place it on the cuticles and will give a proper massage now with this i come to the end of the video so how do you like it please let me know in the comments and please do like share and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video chalo ab dekho